Hi, I'm Fleur from Indefensive Animals. August 1st is the first ever Respect for Fish Day. It's an annual day of action we created to raise awareness about the plight of fish. Fish are the planet's most widely abused animals, but their suffering receives the least attention. Trillions of fish are exploited and killed every year in the food industry, the pet trade and laboratories. We and the fish need your help. Science is increasingly revealing that fish are intelligent, emotional beings and has proven that fish feel pain, yet they are rarely protected by legislation. Fish are the most commonly farmed animals in the world. Farmed fish are confined in overcrowded, dirty tanks and ponds or in underwater cages in oceans and rivers. Overcrowding causes the animals to become aggressive and their waters have become soiled with excrement. Over 20% of farmed fish die from cruel living conditions on fish farms before their planned slaughter. Brutal living conditions affect fish psychologically. Around 25% of farmed fish are referred to as dropouts. These animals are physically healthy, but effectively suffer from severe depression, causing them to become unresponsive and lose their appetites. Those who survive until slaughter are starved for days to empty feces from their guts. Fish are killed in barbaric ways, which include being suffocated, frozen to death and decapitated. They may also be gassed with carbon dioxide, causing them to hemorrhage blood from their gills. In many cases, fish are brutally skinned and butchered while fully conscious. As for commercial fishing, Trillions of wild fish are slaughtered every year in the commercial fishing industry. Large nets pile fish on top of one another, where they are crushed or suffocated by each other's weight. Trawling nets are dragged along the ocean floor, leaving a trail of death and destruction. Wild fish are killed by being frozen to death, or they are left to suffocate, which can take a full 10 minutes of agonizing desperation for water. Their suffering is similar to that of a drowning human. Fish are also decapitated, stabbed, or beaten to death. When fish are removed from the water, many suffer a condition called barotrauma, which causes their stomachs to expel from their mouths due to decompression. The cruelty inflicted on fish during sport fishing would be considered a felony in most states if it were inflicted upon a dog or cat. Sadly, standard fishing practices are excused from compliance with animal abuse laws in most US states. Fishing is a blood sport since it involves the torture and killing of animals for personal pleasure, competition and entertainment. Every year in the US, over 300 million fish are captured by recreational fishermen. After being dragged to the surface, fish suffocate when they are removed from the water and sometimes their stomachs expel from their mouths and their eyes pop out of their skulls as a result of decompression. Fish also sustain severe injuries from the hooks that pierce their mouths and bodies. Hooking fish and letting them go is no better. Up to 86% of caught fish die from their injuries if they are released. The commercial capture, breeding and selling of fish as pets is rife with brutality. Freshwater fish are mass bred in unsanitary facilities that are the underwater equivalent of puppy mills. Fish are commonly transported to pet shops in tiny bags which are pumped with chemicals and held in severely overcrowded and disease ridden tanks. Sick fish are killed in barbaric ways which include being stomped to death, slammed into hard surfaces and beaten with nets. Many breeds of fish sold in pet shops are selectively bred or genetically altered in ways that are adverse to their health. Fish sold as pets frequently die from improper care and neglect following purchase. Fish are not covered by animal cruelty laws in many US states. The use of fish for experimentation is dramatically increasing. Fish in laboratories are subject to a range of cruel procedures. They are force-fed poison, cocaine or alcohol, undergo stimulation-induced heart attacks, have portions of their tails cut off for skin samples and are afflicted with cancer. In some cases, they develop tumours that are almost as large as their bodies. How can you stop this violence towards fish? There are six things you can do. First, take fish off your plate. When you eat fish, you create demand for fishing industries to continue the cycle of violence. 
Instead, plant-based versions of fish are readily available from companies like Gardein, Ocean Hugger Foods, Sophie's Kitchen, Good Catch and Quorn. Second, don't participate in sport fishing. If a fishing related event is taking place in your area, submit a complaint to the hosting venue or write a letter to your local newspaper explaining why angling is inhumane. Third, don't purchase fish from pet stores. If you want a fish as a companion, you can adopt one in need of a home. You can find needy animals on petfinder.com or adoptapet.com. You can also contact your local humane society or county animal control and let them know that you're interested in adopting any fish they rescue. Fourth, teach children about adoption and rescue and why it is so important to avoid breeders and pet stores. Fifth, report cruelty to fish. If you witness a fish being abused or neglected, file a report with your local animal control or police department. Sixth, participate in or organize an event for respect for fish day. You can contact us for more information and support. Here are just a few ideas for you to get involved. Write a letter to the editor or an opinion article for your local newspaper. If you're a student, ask your teacher if you can give a presentation at school. Get active online by joining our social media leaders group for fish. And finally, please share this video. In Defence of Animals and our partners are on standby to help you in any way we can with your Respect for Fish Day action. We can provide you with Respect for Fish Day literature to hand out at events and posters to display. If you organise a Respect for Fish Day event, please let us know how it goes. You can send photographs, videos and links to any press coverage you receive or letters to the editor that you publish. Your actions for Respect for Fish Day can help save lives.